guys, Jen here from Main and Scents and Such and Be Scented. I am making my first ever loofah soap. So, I'm going to do it in fruits and cream. And it does discolor, so I added some vanilla color stabilizer. Now, I'm not sure how much soap I need to fill all my molds. Um, so it's kind of a guessing game. These are what my molds look like. I've got um, four of them filled. I soaked my loofahs for about five or ten minutes just to make it easier because some of them were bigger than others to get them in the mold. Um, and so I know that the loofah is going to take up, you know, some of the space in the mold. So. I just, I've got 24, if I've made uh, too many, that's fine, I won't, you know, I won't have 24. Um, if I've made too much, then, you know, I have another um, batch. So I think I'm going to do this a, like a pale kind of purple. Uh, not sure how much you're going to see the loofah because this is cold process soap, not melt and pour. So you may not see the loofah until I unmold it and, and take it out of the mold. Who knows? Fragrance. I'm just going to hand stir this because I don't want it thick, obviously, because I need it to easily pour into our molds. And I may transfer it over into my pitcher. It's just got some oils in it, so I can hand stir it and it'll be fine. Smells really, really good. All right, let's start filling our molds. I'll probably put them back in the oven just for safekeeping. These molds are supposed to make a five ounce bar of soap. And there may be a little bit of water in them. Cause you know, I even though I shook them out. Whoops. Kind of need a slow moving fragrance that um, can stay thin because you want it to get in all the little nooks and crannies of your loofah.
Three trays filled up. I'll do me first. I dare Why? Why was I? I done myself again, mm -hmm. and I was eight. And I was eight zero four. And it's just the variations. No. Mm-hmm. I was eight zero zero. Eight zero zero. Yeah. Eighty pounds. No, it it had two zero. Yeah, you were eighty pounds even. My fragrance didn't move slow enough. But it's okay, because, you know, we're towards the end. And I think I had just enough. To fill up 18. something for lunch. It's 12 uh, o'clock. I want lunch. Well, we we lunch. Alright guys, I'll bring you back to unmold. I wanted to show you the loofah soaps. And I'm going to grab one and bring it over here. It's not the greatest light. Maybe we can see better over here. So you can see the loofah on the sides. Not really on the bottom. Or the top. But you can really see it on the sides. Um, I'm actually really excited about it. They turned out really good. I actually unmolded them off of camera. Um, they were a little tacky at first. Some of them have holes. That's okay. 
some of them are kind of perfect. Here's one that's got a lot of loofah. You can see. That one turned out pretty neat. But, yeah, you can see the loofah in there. It's not going to focus on it. Hello. No. There you go. See the loofah there. But that is those. They turned out great. So I just wanted to give you an update on those.